Hey there, this is Julia the Garter Girl. I wanted to make a quick uh, wedding planning video for you today. I know you think that it's all wedding garters all the time around here, and while that's true, I also have tons of wedding planning advice and tips in general for you. So today I wanna to talk about the four simple things that you need to do once you become engaged. So we just got through wedding engagement season, and that is the time between Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day, where the majority, not all, but the majority of couples become engaged. It's the holiday time, everyone's feeling festive, family's around, New Year's, it's just really popular time, Valentine's Day, it's a really popular time to become engaged, which is why I wanted to get this out to you. So I've been in the wedding in business for over 10 years, a lot of years, let's just put it that way. And I have seen a thing or two, and I see this all the time with couples. And so that's why I wanted to talk about the four things you do, you need to do once you become engaged. The first four things that you need to do. Because I think it can get really hectic really fast, and it's important that you stop, take a pause, do these four things before you get going in all the craziness and all the madness. Because you're going to see it is like as soon as you start telling people, it's like gonna just be chaos. So number one, the first thing you need to do is enjoy the moment because as I said, once you start telling people that you're engaged, the chaos starts. That's when it's, what are your wedding colors? When are you getting married? What, what's your dress? What are you gonna do? How many bridesmaids are you gonna have? It's like nonstop questions. So before you start, definitely before you start telling people, you just def definitely want to like enjoy the moment. This is amazing. This is special. You know, you two committed to sharing your lives together. So enjoy the moment. Number two is reflect together. Um, not just enjoying the moment, but also reflecting, reflecting on like what's important to you. What are your priorities? Because like I said, once this wedding planning chaos starts, you're going to want to have that sort of like reflection what is our what's important to us what are our values like what do we need at the end of the day and like six months from now eight months from now when it's like crazy you're gonna want to go back to these reflection points and see what you know your priorities were it's like I don't know should the cake be you know 12 tiers or should we do you know the cupcake bar all these kinds of things it's just like one decision after the next and the thing that helps you make the decisions the best is having that solid foundation so do some reflection together and make sure that you two are on the same page about your priorities and about the things that are important to both of you number three is talk finances it's not everyone's favorite topic, but let me tell you, once the wedding planning starts getting going, you this is gonna be your favorite topic, and you're gonna be so thankful that you had these conversations before it got started. So you wanna have the conversations between everybody who is or isn't willing to contribute to your wedding. So maybe you've got family members, or maybe you two wanna pay for it yourselves. There's all kinds of options these days, and there's no right or wrong answer. Um, everyone's doing what works for them and that's how it should be that's what's mo most important but you really just want to have those financial conversations before any decisions are made before any contracts are signed before any um, you know anything is booked you want to make sure that you're having those conversations with all the right people in your immediate circle who are potentially going to contribute to your wedding so, and the number four, the last thing, is hire a wedding planner. I know, I'm sure maybe you've heard this before, but it is so important to hire a wedding planner. You wanna hire the person that you know you fit with the most and that you gel with really at this point of your game. Like once you've done your enjoying and once you've done your reflecting and once you've had sort of like a few conversations about finances, you wanna really put your effort into finding a wedding planner. That's where the bulk of your research needs to go. Hold off on um, you know, the venue search and the wedding dress search and the cake search and all that sort of like fun stuff and really put your research into finding that perfect wedding planner for you because that person is the, then they're on your side. They're gonna help you with the venue search. They're gonna help you find your photographer. They're gonna help you you know, do all these other things. And so my best piece of advice is put your research and effort into finding the best wedding planner for you, and then they're gonna help guide you and make 
all the other decisions that much easier for you. They know the good venues that hold the amount of guests that you want to have. They know the right places um, that when you want to have a ceremony. They know the right photographers that fit within your budget. They can help you with your budget. I mean, they are there and they're on your side and it's so important to get somebody on your side who's not in your family right away at the beginning. So those are my first four tips about what to do right when you first get engaged. I hope that helps. Um, again, my name is Julie and I'm the Garter Girl. Lots of wedding planning advice and tips for you. I hope you subscribe to my channel because it's not just wedding garters. I have tons of advice for you. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I'm always here for you. Thanks.